The year 57 BC marks the beginning of the Shilla dynasty. Together with the Kokoryo and Bekje, Shilla was the third of the three states era, controlling the southeastern region of the Korean peninsula for 1,000 years. Shilla fostered dramatic development in the sciences, mathematics, culture, and religion. Chomsongde, one of the world's oldest surviving observatories, provides us with a glimpse of Shilla interest in science and scientific technology. The structures and edifices of Shilla temples and stone towers are extraordinarily well balanced and show early advances in dynamics and mathematics. Sokaram Grotto at Puguksa Temple shows remarkable proportions of hexagons, octagons, perfect squares and applied trigonometry. Like the Parthenon, Sokoram Grotto shows beauty and elegance, but with more optimal proportions. The Shilla people could rightly boast of their metallurgy techniques. A representative case is the Bangang Seyu song, a mysterious smile hinting at sadness. Elegant curves, picturesque knots. The rhythmical formative arts of Korean Buddhism are widely praised for their virtuosity, even compared with those of Japan and China. Thanks to Shilla's highly developed printing and paper making technology, Mugu Chongguang Te Darani Gyeong, the Darani Sutra, the oldest book printed by wooden type plates in Korea, is also the world's oldest. The Shilla dynasty endured for more than 1,000 years. Its Huarang was an elite group of male youth responsible for the dynasty's endurance. Taught in the educational principles of loyalty, filial piety, fidelity, bravery and humanity. The Huarang were nurtured as political and military elite members and came to play a great role in eventually unifying the three states and managing the emerging dynasty. After unification, Shilla stabilized and began a brisk trade with foreign countries. Shilla's seaborne trade in the East Asian region was led by General Changbogo who established the Chonghejin naval base on Wando Island and from there rid the waters of pirates.